Oh yeah. Are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> this should be fun. The challenge begins. I just shut that. How are you? I hope you're good at reading lips. They're coming off. <laughs> good. <laughs> They are coming off. Off. And when are they coming off? They're coming off right now. So Lisa and Elle are in the car. And while they discover what's going on, we'll fill you in on where they're heading. I can drive in high heels, you know, just minding the... Most accidents occur within five miles of the home. Tonight's journey will take the celebs across the country to Air Square in Galway. And with Lisa extremely happy to see Nell... I can't believe it's you, Nell. You'd be so excited. I'm sure it's going to be a peaceful journey. Hey, wait a minute. Yo, what are you before you rush off, woman? What? I want to get going. We're on the time. There it is. Okay. Like, take that. I You're hope you like seeing that. I'm getting into the back seat. <laughs> well, maybe not, as Nell seems to be in no hurry to leave. <laughs> Please. Nell, trust me. I'm, no, I'm don't go out on the open road yet, or I'm getting into the back seat immediately. Nell! I want to know if you can drive this thing. Of course I can drive, just watch no, there's me. No, of course about it. I can, look. Trust, but verify. <laughs> now, there's something I want to explain to you, please. Yes, darling. The Queen Mother always sat in the back seat, Queen Mother of England. The reason being that the passenger seat is the most dangerous seat in a car because if an oncoming idiot hits this car, you have a steering wheel and an airbag. I am defenceless. You've got an so airbag too. No, I don't. Where? Should How do you know that? There, look, passenger airbag. Yeah. You have me there. Nevertheless, I <laughs> think. You don't be one bit upset when I get into the back seat. You won't need to. It's the start of a beautiful friendship. Beautiful friendship? Our controlling dictatorship. We're not too sure. Leaving from Dublin, the team's first checkpoint is in County Kildare. And at least Lisa is keeping positive. So how are you, darling? Desperate since I've seen you driving with the barefoot contessa. Uh, seriously, I drive better in bare feet. In bare foot. As a matter of, of interest, is that legal? Or could you be done for dangerous driving, do you know? With bare feet. No, you stop. Have you any idea? <laughs> but I can't imagine it being a crime. You've never discussed this with Jared Keane, the lawyer? No, darling. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You can't. <laughs> Nell, you're making me nervous when you stop. <laughs> OK. Can you sing, now? I can, yeah. You can sing. Ah, usually I only sing after getting enough drinks to make me tipsy, but since I, I, drinking left me a long time ago. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Why? No good reason. I had a heart attack. I woke up after the operation and all desire for drink had left me and I was addicted to water. Oh. Amazing, yeah. And but did of you course drink I fought. I did my best. <laughs> or as George Bush said when I was young and irresponsible. I was young and irresponsible, but then like, it's like a seasonal thing to everything a seasonal. Gosh, I stopped. Got strong wind, sorry but now. then no, I didn't. I'm trying to take my mind off your bare feet. We're being blown all over Well, then we shall take our time. Then I had this brain operation, and afterwards I discovered the drinking swells the brain. Nobody ever tells you these things, or if they do, I was never listening. So, was your brain all swelled? No, but if I did drink, that's how people die from, you know, potching and drinking too much whiskey and things. I've never had that. Thought, Jesus, I do have you ever drank potting? Once in my heyday, I would have liked uh, Southern Comfort. Really? I just liked the name because I was hooked on Gone with the Wind and Cowboys and stuff. <laughs> what cowboys did you like? Any cowboy. <laughs> so Nell's in flying form, full of words of wisdom. This is going to be just great. Don't be looking at me, look at the second row. <laughs> One of the advantages of the menopause is that leaves you with permanent inbuilt central heating. Eyes on your driving, keep your hand on the wheel. I spy with my little eye, keep your crazy eyes on the road. And we could actually say the hell with it and drive on to West Cork and get lost for three days. In which case, I'd love to take my top off. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Aren't you glad you're with me today, darling? <laughs> With Lisa at the helm, the pair have made it past their first checkpoint and are on their way to Newbridge. But Nell doesn't quite seem to be enjoying the journey. Oh, for past race. Yeah. I didn't even see it. Did you not? Of 
course you wouldn't. So you're just having so much fun, honey. Is this a bypass we're on? What, love? Is that because we're on a bypass? We haven't seen yeah. it? Not even in the distance? Well, you could have, but you were just so engrossed in telling me all these stories. See, we could be sitting in the front lounge. See? Where's that? On either of our front lounges, you're so relaxed. <laughs> oh, of a house or a yes, pub? Yes, of a house or a pub. There are no pub stops now because you're oh, not drinking anymore. Oh, I'm a great actor, actor, aren't I? I'm not one bit relaxed. I'm hysterically once every time we pass something. <laughs> Hitting checkpoint number two. It's becoming clear that Nella's planning a rebellion, and it's up to Lisa to keep things on track. We're not interested in winning. We're two grown women who want to have a good time. We're off to escort. What are you going to do? Arrest us? Go to Galway. <laughs> we can go to escort. We can do what <laughs> we want. We'll go to escort after we go to Galway. No. We might have to. If you're going to keep back. on about winning, this is the end of their beautiful friendship. An hour into their journey and approaching Monaster Evan, Lisa really has her work cut out for her. And Nell is getting rowdy. Listen, Mama, why don't you pull in? Nell, please. Uh, and think for a moment. No, we can, we can take off. Thought you wanted to win. Huh? Well, I, I can't. You can. I'm, I'm in charge of the map and I can't even find where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> so if you like, I'll resign. Oh, right, nice I have Nell. resigned. You can't resign. I have just resigned. No, darling, you can't. Please. I just have, because I'm lost, and you won't stop and help me. But we don't need to stop. Oh, good, we don't need to win. That's, now you're my woman. Oh, this is getting on very good. Eventually, Nell forces Lisa to give in to her competitive nature. Woman, please, <laughs> would you stop the car briefly and look and find out where we're, where we... Yeah. And she pulls over. I did. How'd you pull over here? Welcome back to Driving Me Crazy, the show that brings two well-known stars together and challenges them to drive across Ireland. For Nell and Lisa, it's been an interesting journey, to say the least. And after pulling in just outside Monaster Evan, the pair are looking to get to Port Arlington, checkpoint number four on their journey. You told me you could read maps. Have you heard of it? Nell, come on. Here's where we're going. We're going to go. This is a disaster. Let's just get to there. So after some peace negotiations, it was back on the road to Port Arlington. You want me now to direct us to Mount Melick, is that yes, right? Yes, please. Can you tell me what we're passing through right now? Port Arlington. Grand, we're near to there. Take the R423. With the drama of the directions over, all seems to be going well. But it isn't long before Nell stirs up trouble again. Are you a fan of Alvin? I was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, apart from... This movie for tragic. Apart from King Creole and what else did he make that was good? King Creole and Jailhouse Rock. Oh, it was wonderful. And then they stuck him under a pair of swimming trunks and oiled his chest like you do with Michael Flatley and give him Oh your boat. Don't you have you had something to do with him once? So with Nell managing to slag off Lisa's ex, there's no keeping this lady quiet. And she's a wealth of useful information. And the reason why you have to share sheep twice a year is when the shit comes out of them. It pours down over the wall, and the wall becomes hard. Gossip is an art form. It is much derided in this country. Have you ever driven a money go? It's like the Lovelands territory. It is incompetence. Which house is here today? That's all I know about it. Very good. Eventually, making it past Mount Melek, the team arrive at checkpoint number five, Tullamore, the halfway point. And it's time for the guys to let rip on what they really think of each other. Now, Nell, don't hold back. Initially getting into the car, I was obviously quite scared of who was going to be my co-pilot. And then, of course, when I saw Nell, I was like, oh, my God, there's my challenge. It's not even the drive. <laughs> I like her. But I wouldn't want to marry her or have her children, and I'm not sure I'd run away with her tonight. She is so funny. I just, oh, I spent the whole time first going, oh my God, Nell, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I think she's a very good driver. I think she's calmed down a bit. I think she trusts my driving now. I wish she was just slightly more conscious of the rules of the road. She's in too much of a hurry sometimes. It's so funny. We couldn't be more opposite. I couldn't have had a more opposite uh, co-pilot, which is great. Like She's quite diplomatic. On one stage, now we stop to ask for directions. Hey, right, can you tell me where the wolf trap bar is? Please? The wolf trap? Yeah. Wolf 
Uh, like a dog. Mary. She was just about to attack him for his grammar, and and I said, "Thank you very much. I got it." Free Did you get good. all that? Yeah, the second exit off the first one, and then the first left off the second. So I'm learning things from her about about um, diplomacy. I'm really impressed. By it. She already wants to go off track. She says, "Just forget about Galway. Let's go to County Cork." I was saying. Look, we don't have to do anything. What are they going to do? We'll just take the car. It's a full tank of petrol. There's a battery. Let's go away to a better place. So the halfway point means it's time for the celebs to swap roles. Well, I've resigned. I've given over complete control. I said, Lisa, you do it. She can do everything. With Nell deciding not to drive, no, it's up to Lisa again. to man the wheel once but more. <laughs> Moving off, the second part of their journey begins as they head for Kilcormick. And Nell is back, talking about plans of rebellion. Are you sure you don't want another bottle of wine? We pull over and get out of the car. <laughs> hey, if you're willing to do an anarchic run, I'm with you. Let's go uh, to a better place. A what? A what and run? I'm OK. Let's take control. Let's run away. <laughs> let's lose the... Let's lose the country. That means you've given up. You've now abandoned any notion of winning at anything. When we get no, to the destination, the then we can mind. just go wild and party. So, with the promise of a wild party, we really want to see that. The team make it past their sixth checkpoint and are on their way to Burr, checkpoint number seven, where the talk turns to car accidents. Good choice of conversation for a road trip, eh? I had a bad car crash once, and I was glad to get it over. It was like childbirth or something. <laughs> uh, what happened for you? Was it your fault? Oh, no. Mm, disputed in court. I was overtaking a lorry. Oh. Well, the two lorries started tailgating, so we're all the traffic jam builds up. Oh, right. They're right. playing with us. Finally, I see a gap, and I speed up the overtake. And as I'm about to go on, the, they, they play with me. The second lorry speeds up. Oh. Oh. That's very well, dangerous. Um, as I pulled on his front bumper, tipped my rear bumper. Very slight, you could hear the clap. Yeah. And zzz, 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 suddenly I'm shuddering across the road and an oncoming car hits me. Oh. And then I'm turned around oh. and I, I'm on against the wall sideways and the side of my car was concertinaed. My passenger would have died. Oh my goodness. But here's the thing, as I headed for the wall, wall I thought I'm going to die now and I felt awful sad. I was really interested in that. Not much time to feel much else. I just felt sad. And were you injured? Badly? No. 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 Nobody was injured. And I'm sitting there wondering what to do. And then I climbed out through the window. And all the traffic stopped. And as I climbed through the window and off the road, everybody applauded because at least I was alive. You were alive, yeah. And I was trying to help you. As I get, there was no need to climb through the window. But as I'm standing on the road, I thought, who owns all these knickers on the road? They weren't yours, are they? And then I saw a suitcase, and it's my suitcase, and I thought, well, please, <laughs> it's my dirty wash for dairy. The road's covered in my dirty knickers, and oh, I picked up all the knickers. Oh, my God, <laughs> are you serious? These are my priorities. I've nearly died, so I pick up the knickers. <laughs> and oh, I was in such God. a state of shock, I climbed back <laughs> through the windscreen. So past Burr, and now in Banagher, checkpoint number eight. Next stop is Loch Ray, County Galway. Jesus, what well, am Over in Banagher looking for... Loch Ray. Well, it's not marking this map, but... Uh, Loch Ray. We're looking for an N6. That would be very good. But struggling to find their way out of town, it's time to inflict Nell on another member of the public. But Lisa's tactics seem to be rubbing off on her. Excuse me, sir. Ah, she went to finishing school. Hey, could you tell me where Loch Ray is, please? Loch Ray. Yeah. Um, there's, there's Banner, is where you are at the moment. Yeah. Isn't that, the, isn't that where the reservoir is, Banner? Listen, yes. be quiet now. We're no. in a hurry. You go over the bridge. I'm making it nice, yeah. man. You, you go over the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And stay here. Yeah. You go into airport. Airport, yeah. And keep going. It's at the N65. And it, yes, and it'll be a straight one onto the yeah. N6 and then straight into Loch Ray. Thank you, Mister. Sir, no. thank you so much for your help. Oh, no, you're welcome. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Was, bye, bye. I was nicer than you, because instead of just saying to me, I was very nice. Just I wasn't up. saying, give me direction, shut up, Mister. I did not say I was that. making nice a little conversation about this local place. Yes, but well, we don't have time. I was trying to be. I'm trying to be diplomatic here, but I've now given up. The team, with directions in hand, eventually make it past Loch Ray and Oran Moor. 
and are now on the home stretch. With time on their side, or so they think, it's a chance for now to interrogate Lisa. Did I hear somewhere you cut your education short? No. Oh, you've been to school and everything? Yep. Finish university? No, actually, you're right. I cut my accountancy. I did two years of accountancy. And then I travelled. And you did? And I never Good. Went and I came home and opened a business. And how did that go? It's going up well. What's business? Beauty salon. Beauty salon. I feel like to come out and visit me. I wouldn't step in a door which says beauty. They said health, yes. Everybody it... steps in looking at the back of a bus and you say, what, where, where's the beauty? And we disagree on what we mean by beauty. Okay. <laughs> Most people were not born good looking or grew up to good looking. Aw, no, that's not true. Oh, really? Shall I go over the list of people and see what you have to say? Everyone is beautiful in their own way. In their own way, grand. Yes. Who's anyone to say if someone's not pretty or not nice? I am. No, I'm not doing it. What about a massage? Well, that's what you're doing. I love massages. Well, there you go. You're is that, my is guest that what you do? Yeah. Well, maybe. There you go. You can come right. massage. I brought my Louboutins laid out in the bed. <laughs> this could be the start of some kick. <laughs> With charges falling, Nell and Lisa make it to the final checkpoint, Air Square, County Galway. Oh, Nell, we made it! Well, I won't say it's been an entire pleasure. Actually, being with you has been a pleasure, but the driving has put years on me. <laughs> no, no. It's time to reveal whether the team has made it and bagged the cash for charity. The clock says 4 minutes 20. Yeah. And we had on. And there was stoppage time as well, so you made it in 4 hours. Like on. on. Yes. So you made it. Oh, oh, made, what? Oh, made, it. made it on time now. Where were you for the past 4 hours? You really weren't paying attention. The second part was great. Um, second part I didn't really know many of the areas, but we made, I think we made the right turns. We didn't get too lost. Actually, I actually didn't think we got lost at all in the second part. A little bit of learning to do. She knows nothing about geography. But then I have too many stories. I'm as old as tea. I got a history tour on this geography tip. I've heard all about all the different places we've been in, because Nell knew something about everyone. I imagine with her we could walk a bit on the wild side. Yeah, I think so.